This is every Pirates of the Caribbean Lego set in the Caribbean. There are Lego sets for the first five movies. Let's dive into the first one, The Black Pearl. There are only two sets from The Curse of the Black Pearl, and thankfully one of which is The Black Pearl. Inside they got a few crewmates, and then it comes with two cannons. We can dive down into here, just take a little peek what it looks like on the inside. We've got a captain's quarters, but beyond that, there really is not too much else. So the main thing is just how good this looks on the sea. Just look at that. It is a beauty. And then we got the Isle de Meruta with four minifigures. But secretly, one of them is Barbosa in his true form as he has the curse. So this is the scene where there's all the treasure and the curse and we get to learn that they have to return the coins. And then Elizabeth Swan had only one coin, the final coin, but actually Jack Sparrow had the final coin and it was a great twist. One of the best scenes in the Pirates of the Caribbean history. Something that's awesome about all the Pirates of the Caribbean sets is that each one had its own unique minifigure to the set. Deadman's Chest has two Lego sets. One of which is the Cannibal Village where they all think that Jack is a god and they worship him. And they all essentially try to escape and they, they, they escape. And they're gonna be cooked and eaten alive. So this is a great little set. This set captures one of those amazing fight scenes once again. So in this fight scene, they are fighting all on this wheel. It's awesome. So we can kind of capture the essence of that fight scene by throwing our minifigures inside there and then spinning them away. bell dropping also was a great aspect of that scene. And then there is a unique minifigure. He almost looks like he belonged out there in the sea. Maybe we should just return him into the beach. Ah, perfect. He really does look like he belongs in the ocean. And also in this set, we get the actual Deadman's chest. Look inside here. Okay, open it up. Open up the treasure. It's the heart. This is Davy Jones' heart. And so Davy Jones, I do have the minifigure, but I left him at home because Davy Jones is a $200 minifigure. And I didn't feel like bringing him quite to the beach because what if it get lost? Okay, so here I am in the Caribbean and I'm just lurked. There are no Lego sets for at World's End. So I lied earlier in the video. There's only sets from four of the movies. I thought there was a set for every movie. How did I not know that until I got here? Okay, well, let's go look at the set from Stranger Times, which had a whopping four Lego sets. We have Queen Anna's Revenge, and then the Lighthouse, and then we have the Fountain of Youth, and then Escape in London, which was the opening scene to the new movie because all of these sets came out in conjunction with the release of this movie. So this, that's why it probably has the most sets. So we got Jack Sparrow while escaping from the Colonial Guards. And these Colonial Guards are super unique. I don't think there's anywhere else. I guess British. Well, they also look colonial. So that's why you could use them as colonial because they're definitely not colonial, they're British. British Guards here. And then we got the chase uh, happening. Some of the best parts of this set is, look at this. Jack is about to hop off and hop onto this passing carriage but nope he gets flung away and then this carriage is able to flip up and you can see it is burning on fire which will frighten the horses and they will run away the lighthouse where the sailors are attracted by the sirens by their beauty but mainly their singing which gets them stranded on this island and the best part of this castle or lighthouse is that it purposely is able to get all apart. And fun fact, this theme came out during the brown brittle brick era. There was something in the brown dye that made them super weak. So you can kind of see that that got destroyed in transit and trying to get here. We also have to highlight that there is a burning coal barrel dump off, which kind of got stuck because probably because this is a used set. But on this side, we have the mermaid cannon, well, the siren cannon. So you can launch the net and then ta-da you've caught one of the sirens who led you to this shipwreck shore another beauty of a ship 
This set is amazing. Oh, this is probably my favorite pirate ship just because of the color scheme. The redness in it, red, black, and white color scheme works so well. Just take a look at it next to the sea. Doesn't that just look amazing? You see that off in the distance, you're like, wow. One thing I definitely noticed was the use of all the bones and skeleton in this ship because there was definitely way more skeleton usage than I had thought at originally when I was building. I was like, whoa, okay, that's kind of crazy. And inside this ship, we get a total of three cannons. So one more than the Black Pearl has. So that just makes this one even better. All the events from Stranger Tides leads to the Fountain of Youth. And finally, the last and most intensive build, ship of them all. This one used like twice as many pieces as any of those other pirate ships. But this is the Silent Mary. And this is no pirate ship. This is actually a pirate hunting ship. So you lift it up and these open up to eat the ships. And so it gobbles down so many pirate ships. This is Captain Salazar with his crew. So there's Captain and then we get three other crewmates. So they're all very unique and have kind of transparency to them. So this came out like 2017 and the rest of the sets came out 2011. So this came out and they revived it just for the movie coming out in 2017. I have to point out, this Jack Sparrow is an updated version. Like he has more detail than any of the other Jack Sparrows. Let's do a little comparison. So there's this one next to one of the ones over here. We grab him. So this is the old one from 2010, 2011 and then versus compared to the new one. Can you see a difference? Just like look at the headband where it's like pure red and then there's actual details. So there's the face, this is the new one, and this is the old one. The last Pirates of the Caribbean Lego was not really in the Lego Pirates of the Caribbean theme, but in the Brickhead theme. So we got two Brickheads, Salazar and Jack Sparrow. And these came out at the same time that the Silent Mary came out. So not much more to show about them, except that Salazar is pretty awesome. He's got his head exposed. Not many Brickheads do that. The Brickheads, I always love the Brickheads line. There's just lots to it. Just so simple, but so basic, so awesome. I love them. They're, they're good little guys. And that is every Pirates of the Caribbean Lego set. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna be putting a behind the scenes a little bit later of the journey of getting all this Lego across the world to be able to film this video. Thank you, I'll see you later.